Hello guys, welcome back to our podcast today. It's me again, Chatri, and also my friend. Hi, I'm Jenisa. And I'm Messi. Okay, today we will discuss about reanalyze our poem and also there are several questions that we will answer. Okay, let's we start. First is about reanalyze our poem. The title is Say Something. Okay, let's we listen the song first. Say something, I'm giving up on you I'll be the one if you want me to And anywhere I would have followed you I'm feeling so small It was all from my head I know nothing at all And I Will stumble and fall I'm still learning to love Just starting to crawl Say something, I'm giving up on you I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you Okay, Desi, do you think there are some figurative language in that song? Yes, of course. There are some figurative language in that song. There are metaphor, image, and personification. Okay, the first. Based on that song, the metaphor of it is 
and I will swallow my pride. As we know that the metaphor is a figurative language or word that has no real meaning, but as a painting based on similarities of com or comparisons. As in the lyric of that song, it doesn't mean that she takes her pride into her mouth. So what do you think? Do you agree with me, guys? Yeah, I agree, agree with, with you. you. Okay. Um, uh, I, I agree with that. See, there are image in a figurative language. Uh, there are, and I'm feeling so small. So as we know that image is when the figurative language building mentality of the five sen senses. The word that builds uh, the mentality of the lyrics is feeling. And how about you, Denisa? Uh, yeah, I uh, I also agree with you guys. Uh, so in this poem, there are also personification in the part it was over my head. So this is the attribution of human traits or characters to animals, inanimate objects or abstraction. So as mean by it, which is abstract uh, in the lyri lyrics. Okay, guys. Uh, next is, do you think there are some line and rhythm in that song? Yeah, there are some line and rhythm in that song. There are stanza and also rhythm. Yes, I'm agree with Desi. There are, uh, I think there are stanza in a song of part, say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be there one if you want me to. Anywhere I would have followed you, say something, I'm giving up on you. How about you, Desi? Okay, your voice is great, Chatri. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's correct, you. I think. Um, this is a collection of lines in that song that are grouped by stanza, where a stanza can so consist of three to five lines in general. So what do you think? Yes, I'm agree with you, Desi. Yeah, and I'm how about you? Um, and also, I found a rhythm in this uh, poem. Um, in the part of say something I'm giving up on you. So uh, rhythm is the repetition of sounds according to a, to a certain pattern in song. And in that stanza contains a repeating sounds in the pattern. The same note in, uh, in the one stanza. What do you think guys? Yes, I really agree with you, Janessa. Okay. And how about the sound and rhythm? Do you think there are some sound and rhythm in that song? How about you, Desi? Yeah, there are some sound and rhyme in that song. The first one is alliteration, onomatopoeia, and also assonance. The first is the alliterations of that poem is say something where the alliteration is the similarity of sounds in the words of one sentence, like say and something. But of don't begin with the letters of S. So what do you think? Am I right? I'm, yes, I'm um, agree with totally you. I totally agree with you, Des. Um, I'm agree with you is there are onomatopoeia uh, in that song especially in O O part. And this is a magic that mimics the sound of both dead and living things. For example, like door, O, O, and etc. How about you, Denisa? Um, and for me, um, there is a sonance in this poem in the part of, and I am feeling so small. So a sonance is the repetition of the same or similar vowel sound in the words of sentences. So in this part, uh, um, a sounds in the words M, or repeat the sounds A in the words N. Okay, that's all about our reanalyzing. Yes. Next, uh, let's we move uh, to the reflection by answering some question. Okay, the first question is, how did you do the previous analysis? Okay, Desi, maybe you can answer it. Yes, of course. So the first, we study figurative language, line and rhythm, and also sound and rhyme. And then this knowledge is related to the song or poem that we analyze. 
To analyze is we identify the term or title of it, then we understand the stanza through line by line in the song, and also examine the vocabulary used. So do you agree with me, guys? Yes, I'm agree with you, Desi. Okay. Um, I will ask to chat three. What do you think about? Are there some steps missing on the process of analyzing the poem? Okay, well, uh, I think there are no missing steps in analyzing poem. We did according to what Desi explained uh, before, and we have followed step by step. Am I right, guys? Yes, yeah. I do agree with you. Um, yeah, me too. There are no missing steps in uh, analyzing poem. Okay, the next question, is there any step that you did which facilitated you better in your interpretation? Uh, okay, Janissa, maybe you can answer it. Okay, so I think yes, there is one step which uh, facilitates us better in our interpretation. It is examining vocabulary used. We can understand what message is contained in the poem if we know the meaning of the words used. It is possible that the author used a lot of figurative language or not or others. Okay, next. Um, Daisy, what do you think? Can group col collaboration help you in the poetry analysis process? Uh, of course, yes. Group collaboration really help, um, help us in the process of analyzing a, a poem or song. This is because it makes it easier for us to ask friends in my group about things that I don't understand in analyzing poem. So I think group collaboration really helps us, especially to complement our um and sorry our respective shortcoming in carrying out analytical text. Am I right, guys? Yes, yeah, um, I agree with you. I agree with you, Nancy. Can okay, uh, um, share our opinion. Okay, thank you. Okay, Chatri, there is question for you. Did you find difficulties uh, in your online or virtual collaboration? Well, I think yes, because sometimes we have difficulty collaborating online or virtually due to signal problems. But so far, we have been able to overcome these obstacles so that the result of our collaboration can run smoothly. Am I right, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the next question is for Janissa. What were tools that helped you in finishing the previous analysis? Um, so the tools that help us a lot when completing the, the previous analysis, um, of course, it can be separated for, uh, from phones, laptops, uh, WhatsApp, and also application for editing videos that we have made so that the results are maximized. One more tool that really help us is Google. Uh, when no of us is uh, understood about the materials, so we asked the Google to find the answer and that really helped us. Of course, even though we use Google, we don't do plagiarism. We use Google uh, uh, as a reference to better understand the material we don't understand. Do you agree guys that we don't do plagiarism uh, and analyze this poem? Yes, I'm yes, using it. Okay, good. So next, um, Desi. What are your plans to reanalyze the poem? Will you do the same steps as before or will you make adaptation from the video or articles learned in this meeting? Okay, as I read the articles and video in the learning, I think next I would like to follow the way people in the video analysis because it's more structured and also detailed. Am I right? Yeah, yes, I'm with you. Okay, the next, uh, there is question. What are the steps of analyze and collaboration? Maybe Chatri, can you answer this question, please? Okay, Desi, uh, there are steps of analysis and uh, collaboration in our group, such as first, look at the poem. 
look at the title, the, the stanza, and read at a glance. And the second is read uh, the whole poem carefully and within its meaning. Circle the point or main, or main ideas in every line or stanza. Try to write what, uh, what my thought about the poem by the word that I circled or underlined. And after that, use feelings and important words to decide what is the mood of that poem. Next, uh, see the stanza patterns and start thinking why uh, the reader chose that poem. And the last is choose the favorite line of the poem that we have read and why. Do you agree, guys? Yeah, yes, I'm Okay, the next question is, what are tools of virtual collaboration that work better for your group discussion? Okay, maybe Janissa can answer this question. Okay, for me, I think the best tools of virtual collaboration is WhatsApp group because it's really flexible and easy to use. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, I totally agree with you, Janissa, because WhatsApp is more cheaper than another application. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, I agree with you, guys. Okay, so next. Um, Daisy, um, did you enjoy learning in this way? Yes, I really enjoy use this way. Both of my friends, Chatter and Janice, are so much fun. I love it. So, what is your opinion about it, Kiss? Um, for yeah. me, yeah, I really enjoy it. Because I can share my opinion with you and also discuss the poem again. So, I can know from the other perspective. Yes, I am totally agree with you guys. Okay, guys, that's all about our discussion on today's podcast. And thank you so much for listening to our discussion. And see you in the next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.